Are you the person who often forget a lot of things which need to be done at work? Are you the person who are really thinking about what I need to improve for my productivity? Are you also considering to become a little more effective? And are you the person spend times on email inbox? Are you the person also find quite hard to find different emails as well too? And do you often receive also a lot of tasks in the email as well too? Congratulations, you find the right video because in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can solve all of this problem and absolutely for free this approach will work for your Gmail free account or even Outlook free account too. Doesn't matter. Every tools and approach I will, for, I will show it to you right now is absolutely for free and it will completely solve your problem and make you a highly productive person who will never forget about any task, who will always find things on time, who will always be reminded about things need to be done by itself and you will have a much more relaxed, quiet and stressless work. You want that right? So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. So let's give a big hand to, to, to these student leaders to bring the training to you. Why don't you give a big hand to them? Before I get started, you need to understand in our life, normally we receive four type of emails. One type of email is called for your information or project update. Second type of email we receive where there is a meeting request. We have to go and meet someone. Third type of email where we need to go and need to get something done and need to do a task. And, and we're always in the middle of something so we cannot just get it done immediately and the last one is about something to read we often get something article or some information or news we want to read so now let's jump into the email inbox and i'm going to show you how you can turn all this email with to a great productivity system for yourself and make it a zero inbox so all right you can see this one right now my email inbox i have four emails and my interest is about i'm going to turn it to a zero inbox there should be nothing left in my inbox moving forward okay so let's get started the very first thing is about what i'm looking here right now the first email is about it's coming it's look like a meeting request that somebody wants to meet me at meeting tomorrow at 11 to 12 pm so i got a meeting request so what i want to do as somebody requested me to meet the person and i agree on so what i could do i could just reply or i could i could propose a new time by re email reply but it's going to cost me a lot of time and that's something I don't want to do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go st straight up. I'm going to go to the calendar and I'm going to send the mailing invitation straight to the person. So it's the, my time and that time will be booked. So what I'm going to do tomorrow, Wednesday, 11 o'clock, discussing about work. I'll add the person, let's say about this person. Uh, write it down. Actually, even you don't need to type, you can actually come by and you can just simply um, copy the email address from here, save yourself some time, put it on, put it on Google Meet. If it's not in Google Meet, you can propose the location of where you want to meet here and then you save and it's sent. So now you know tomorrow 11 to 12 p.m. you have something and this meeting going on, the appointment is confirmed and you will receive the notification because the next day, tomorrow morning starting, you look at a calendar and see something need to be done. So now what I'm gonna do, this has already been resolved, right? So this should not be my email inbox. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move to move to archive email so what i'm going to do in this one before i actually get started what i'm going to do, i'm just create some few levels i just want you to create three levels one archive emails second one is a discussion emails third one is a project address emails to make this one is so simple you just click here and you type and you create and it will be created already so my meeting request is done so what i'm going to do this is on discussion right so i'm going to move it to discussion folder so my that email is gone and you can see this invitation was been sent already and it's been booked already. So now the second email I'm saying, uh, help me with this. So somebody is like this type two, and this email is asking me to do something for them. I really need to have something. Okay, so do this one. I need to review a report example and it's gonna cost me an hour and then I will be able to get back to the person. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to my calendar again and I'm gonna see tomorrow morning I have some other going on. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna 2 p.m. to do review uh, report and feedback. John. So what I'm going to simply, I'm going to block four hours. If it's, it's something two hours is needed or one hour needed, I'm going to estimate my amount of work and I can just save it on here. So now I have it on my calendar already. And this something, what I'm going to do in this one, the good way is about, 
you should choose a color for meeting keep it blue for this kind of work this is not a meeting so just choose a different color let's so choose green and now you can easily understand which one is actually physical meeting and which is actually your meeting on person so i'm actually putting green so where i'm actually it's my work is not meeting someone else but i block the time so now to help with this one is done so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to move this one to basically uh on discussions too because it's not been completely done yet because i'm still going to do after this so still in discussion the next email i'm opening right now is about this is a great article for me to check so they are saying this one okay this is a great article and i wanted to read so this is the type three is about what you want me to read about something and learn about some knowledge so i get like that article so what i can do is about simply i can save the article and i'm going to plan to read later because now i'm in a working time and doing other kind of work too so what i will do i'm going to go in the top right corner scroll it down and you can see keep app i'm going to open the keep app so all i need to do is basically i can copy it go to the keep app and, and I, all i need to do is just write it down i can keep app here a uh, great article a great article about the and I can actually simply pin that up and close it here. So now it's been saved here. So now article I can see, I can read anytime, I can revisit anytime too. If it's something not valuable, I don't even need to put it here, but I found it's valuable. I want to see it in the future, so I put it on. So you can see I'm on my different nodes, I'm language learning I'm doing. I put the nodes in place. So now let's come back here. So now this is done as well. So now this should not be in discussion. This is already resolved. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move it to archive email. So it moved to archive email. So now it's been solved in archive email so the next one is i can see this one is about crm project update so this is a project update which is showing about different status of my email so in this case i'm going to read the email with attention and then what i'm going to do simply i'm going to move this email to my project updates so now you can see i'm moving it out and clearing my email inbox the very last email i have is a is, is a discussion so which i invited them for a meeting so this email i can select this one and i simply delete so now my primary tab in my inbox is absolutely entry and i know what i need to do exactly and i have also booked my times so what i will be able to get it done as well too and as soon as i can get back to them as well too i got my inf critical information also been saved too and now i'm set now nothing else to do in my email inbox and i can move to my doing actually the thing i need to do rather than hobbling around and looking and staring in my inbox and now you have a much more planned days to get get going and get things done just try it for two weeks and you have a massive change you will see in your daily activities if you need any help go ahead and comment below too and there is another video here which you can use the keep to make it a second brain to make yourself even more successful with that one in your note management too and if you like this video and you want more video like this go ahead and subscribe to the channel because we are excitingly always publishing new great tips like that so you'll be able to see it. see you soon in the next video click right now